hear that? You're the mightiest of us all. Twirl him on your shoulders and flatten him. That'll teach him not to withhold his strength when he vies with the king. The old days, they were the best. Those wild, hard days. The scorching deserts, the raging storms at sea. We conquered the enemies of Persia. My brave immortals. A king with the earth for his footstool. And yet his only happiness is here with us.
I fear I could never imitate a lover. My hand was fashioned for the sword and not the strings of a lyre. And these feet were not made to prance to music. They're uncommonly large, don't you think? <laughs> I used to think that they'd be cloven, like the hooves of Satan. There are those who still think I'm akin to the devil. I trample hard on some who dare to defy the empire. Yes, you have. And on many innocent people, too, because of the authority that you give to him. Oh, I've tightened the reins on him, thanks to your constant mentioning of his wrongdoing. But I sometimes wonder, Esther, what are you? My mentor? The keeper of my good behavior? Or a woman who might someday return the warmth I have for her? Oh, but there is much warmth in my feeling for you as a man. Then at least I've gained the outer rampart. So you guard the inner citadel with more tenacity than the Greeks. The all the village girls where king is not easily cast aside. Don't think of me as a king in a palace. But as a man who loves you. Who loves you. the captain of the guard. Defended the palace by using the sword of the golden rooster. I think he stole it from one of my governors, and now he's made good his escape. I will double the guard for your protection, Esther. But I'd rather take care of you myself. How long was that? You already possess that, Esther. You rule my heart. 